Which should until next time. Better jot that down. We're back with the second key. Next up's the third one. The third one already? That's even further from here. It's somewhere within the faculty room. Somewhere within, huh? The faculty room, huh? Uh, can I maybe skip out on this one? I wonder why, Ryuji. Maybe it's all the chewing out from your teachers? I doubt anyone has good memories of that place. No reason to be there, except getting chewed out. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true. So far, we've been sent to the courtyard, the cafeteria, and now the faculty room. No. I'm sure there's a connection with my memories, but I still haven't come up with anything else. However, I do feel like we're getting close. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out more once we secure whatever's in the faculty room. Let's move out. My memory may be vague, but I can still guide you there. The faculty room should be just ahead of here. Walking all over this school's a pain, but I guess it still beats getting wrapped up in some other drama. Yes, it's nice how it seems we won't be attacked while merely walking around the school. Whatever's on the other side of the doors is definitely a different situation. What's up with that anyway? Furthermore, there's another matter I don't understand. Despite our assumptions about this kingdom, we've been attacked by creatures more closely resembling students than teachers. What would be the cause of that? Is there even a reason? That makes me wonder, though. Did Nakabachi ever force the students to fight each other? Whatever the reason, it's obvious that we're still facing a lot of unknown factors. Let's just hurry up and catch the next episode of Toshiro's Put-Upon Adventure! A <laughs> school tale where Toshiro's whipped, huh? I'd like to learn the ending. Whipped? <laughs> ending? <laughs> um, would you mind if we moved on? <laughs> yes. Sorry. But that Natsuhara-san really is straight as an arrow, isn't she? She was genuinely concerned for that girl, and never had second thoughts about helping her. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, Eri was actually somewhat similar to you all. Really? She was a fervent believer in justice. She always had a very strong sense of empathy. Remember how, when we first met, I said I had a less than favorable opinion of the Phantom Thieves? Well, I'm fairly certain I was just envious of your ability to accomplish what I never could. I'd like to take back what I said. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, cut him some slack. His memory was real mess back then, remember? Being able to reflect upon one's faults is an admirable quality to foster. I make a point to reflect upon my mistakes each time I find myself having to eat wild grass for lack of funds. Um, I think you might need to do more than reflect. Besides, there's nothing to apologize for. You're an adult, and a politician to boot. Not everything we do is condonable to everyone. We certainly always have that in mind. Understood. I'll remember that. Marina, I owe you an apology as well. How should I put this? Don't worry about it. I think I already know. Kind of. Let's keep moving for now. We can talk more later. Right. Well, let's be off. Lead the way. I think we found the faculty room. All right, you legionnaire losers! Get your asses out here so I can kick them! You're making it sound like we're raiding the place.
<laughs> Classy, Ryuji. Wait, you want me to bow first? If we can make him freak before we fight him, we should do it. Oh, I gotcha. I'm pretty sure a door like that means they're not hearing anything we say on the other side. Do you think they can even understand us? We know what to expect on the other side. Let's do this! That's it, dipshits! We're coming for you now! Yeah, dipshits! You're gonna regret making us come in there! Like I said, let's do this! Before Ryuji's potty mouth rubs off on Arena any worse. Them out. Now, whip them into shape. Persona. I'm perfectly ready. Time to raise the curtain. Whoever! What to do here? Let's go! Wipe them out. I'll slice you into pieces. I'll show no mercy. Nice position. You'll be well hidden. I'll show you. Down. All right. My turn. 
Wipe them out. What to do here? Whip them into shape. I'll cut them down. Now then. My turn. Wipe them out. I am not. You'll be well headed. Wipe them out. Go him off. What to do here? Persona. It's all over. You're done now. I'll show no mercy. Wipe them out. Now then. Whip them into shape. I'm perfectly ready. All right. I'll show no mercy. Wipe them out. What to do here? Whip them into shape. I'll cut them down. Now then. I'll show no mercy. Perfectly ready. Time to raise the curtain. Go in on! No way! Okay, we're down one enemy! All right. Persona! Wait, right on! 
them down. Now. Persona! Arsene! way of the fact. <laughs> Suck on that. Phantom Thieves showed you what's up. With that out of the way, where's that key? Ooh, over there. It's a letter? No. Just any letter. The front says it's a letter of challenge. That's the third key? Look at the weight of the brush strokes. Whoever wrote this meant business. That looks like. No. It's probably best to see what happened first. Is everyone ready? Here it comes. Perhaps one of you would care to explain the meaning of this letter. How about you, Kasukabe? It was scrawled so furiously, I was barely able to read it. A letter of challenge? Senpai, did you really write this? 
I know I left it to you to call him out, but this is pretty hokey. And you even included our names? What's wrong with that? We needed to confront him face to face. Honestly, it would have been better to go yell at him in the faculty room. Calling him into this empty music room was to show him the slightest amount of mercy. Hmm. Here I was, wondering what the blazes this could be about. You really wanted an in-person confrontation? You tricked me here with some baseless accusations. Now you expect me to actually apologize for them? An apology's not going to cut it. You're going to confess your crimes and turn yourself into the police. <laughs> Surely you're jesting. You won't be talking your way out of this. A whole list of students shared the truth with us. A list of students, you say? I don't know who'd spout such lies, but I can assure you this nonsense won't prove a thing. It isn't nonsense! We only found out because someone came to us for help. Do you have a name of this someone? And what evidence do you have to corroborate their story? Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say you're correct. Just how many people do you see here backing you two up? Your theory's riddled with flaws, wouldn't you say? For example, if there are as many victims as you claim, why hasn't a single one come forth? That's because you... you've screwed them all over! Senpai, please don't touch him. Laying a hand on him would give him just what he wants. Ah, Kasukabe, my boy. Good to know you still see reason. That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Uh. Well, let's end this discussion here. No matter how much of a fit you may pitch, no one is going to take your side. Not unless every single one of your so-called list of students steps forward. Ah, but that's quite the unless, isn't it? Best of luck, Claire. <laughs> Hang on! We're not done here! Eri, don't chase him! That bastard! Cackling like some kind of kids' show villain! He certainly seems confident. He's forced each victim into a position where betraying him means self-ruin. Fear is certainly an effective method of control. Though not just their fear. I've gotten the sense that some people even expected perks from Nakabachi for obeying him. <sighs> we can raise all the fuss we like, but if the victims have no intention of accusing him... I don't care. He's still wrong. And what's gonna happen? Everyone's just supposed to let him get away with it? Does everyone really need to come forth? If so, we'll try persuading them again by... Tell me, Senpai. Why do you care so much? I know just how much you value honesty and how you can't stand injustice, but... Uh, it's not about caring. I just do what I do because I want to. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I can tell you. You see... Back at my last school, one of my classmates framed me for some theft, and everyone ended up shunning me. It was over something stupid, I, I can't remember if it was a notebook or some perfume, but something was stolen. How awful. I'm sure there were some folks who thought I was a nuisance, considering my personality. But in the end, even my closest friends all left me. At the time, I was more shocked than angry, so I kept my mouth shut and just tried to deal with it. After a while, my homeroom teacher noticed I'd been acting differently, so she reached out to me. I didn't want to stir things up, so I told her to leave me alone. But then she told me, silence in the face of injustice is complicity. If your gut tells you something's wrong, why not fight back, she asked. That was the push I needed to change my attitude. I've fought back ever since. I got all kinds of people involved. I asked around school for leads, I searched for the stolen stuff myself. And with that teacher's help, I was able to prove my innocence. That said, the whole mess drew a lot of negative attention. 
so I still wound up transferring. Ah, so that's why you transferred here at such an odd time. Honestly, I think the reason I get so worked up is because I'm actually a coward at heart. You? A coward? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, it'd feel like everything I fought for was a waste. There'd be no reason to take a stand for what's right. That's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. No matter your reasoning, I think it's admirable. You're simply following your own sense of justice. Admittedly, that doesn't apply to what I do. <laughs> well, thanks. But I think you're wrong about yourself. The first time I ever saw you was pretty telling. I knew you're someone who does the right thing. Considering their numbers, you were really putting your life on the line there. Oh, that old story. I keep telling you, I just felt like it. Still, was I ever glad to meet you here? <laughs> it was almost like meeting another me. <sighs> so, what's the next move? Nakabachi's not confessing, and I doubt any of his cronies will either. We've got to find something else. <sighs> Toshiro, you're sure? You think I can just slink out of here after all you've said? Plus, I need to keep an eye on you if you decide to go loose cannon. Besides... That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Hmm. He'll see. I'll show him what I can do. Hey, why is it already over? Oh, what a weak ending! Not even a preview of the next one? You guys do remember we're watching that guy's real life, right? So that's why. Whoa, it's weird when they sync up. What's the deal? <laughs> uh, maybe I've seen one too many of Toshiro's memories. But, yeah. Those things that Eri had said? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, that's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. I have to say, I'm not sure how we may be related. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse, I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. But I can tell she has the same feelings that I've had for as long as I can remember. I must admit, the two of you have a very strong drive towards justice your own expense. Oh, you think so? In that case, I'm even more puzzled about the two of you now. I don't really know how to phrase it. But the more I think about how Toshiro's past may have some meaning for me, the more it's like... <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Let's just keep moving for now. The answer must be right around the corner. Right, Toshiro? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Our next move should be securing the location of the last key. Then let's shut up and get out of here! <sighs> I can't wait to curl up back at the hideout. Huh? 
That was great. quite. Ready to go? So now there's... All right, this is the one. So that means... Wait, you mean... Whoa! What? Ah! Well, you see... That's enough! See. What to do?
<laughs> Let's might send that. out reinforcements. Stay alert. Wipe them out. Now then. Get ready. The target's still a ways off. No need to rush. <sighs> Finally. Made it Nothing halfway. Done. All right. Leave it to me. I'm perfectly ready. Come, my other self. Go him up. What to do here? Ready. Now then. Get ready. Time to <laughs> fly. Keep it up, Mona. Now you get to learn why we're feared. I'll cut them down. All right. Perfectly ready. A stunning victory. Let's do the same next time. Hey! Could this be? For you. Way. Uh. No, well, that's. Things to buy here. Best of luck out there. We 
Would you like to create a weapon? Select a persona. Please read you wish to withdraw this persona. Select a persona. Please read you wish to withdraw this persona. What would you like to do? You wish to dismantle a weapon. Which weapon will you choose? Are you finished? Until next time. I should write that down. Now where could that fourth and final key be hiding? Hmm, we found the others in the courtyard, the cafeteria, and the faculty room. Maybe the next one's in... Um... Nope, sure isn't! The last key is on the roof! I think these guys could help out more since they know so much. We only need one more key to reach... Then we'll finally be free! Oh, lonesome... Your reign is coming to an end! They sure are fired up, even if we still can't hear who they're saying. Nakabachi was silencing the students through blackmail, yes? Perhaps this is how it's manifesting here. Eh, it won't matter once we're knocking his lights out. Right, Toshiro? Yes, I imagine so. Then let's head for the rooftop. Since the enemies seem to be getting stronger as we press on, we should really be careful now. We've been walking for so long. How much further to the rooftop? The building certainly didn't look this huge from the outside. The distortions in this world are likely playing a part in the inconsistencies we're experiencing. Well, this is our last errand, yeah? Once we've got the four things, all we gotta do is kick that voice's butt. I'm particularly curious about the next memory we'll likely see. Toshiro and Eri seem to be in a rather difficult position. Yeah, you go, baby Toshiro! That lousy principal needs to learn a lesson in Right. 
certainly hope that's how it went. But I have my concerns there. Hmm? Why is that? As we've worked out already, this world is built for my own cognition. That's why Maria and Yoshiki were such awful monsters oppressing the citizens in their kingdoms. Which means if I truly was successful at putting a stop to Nakabachi's scheme, he wouldn't have been designated the ruler of this place. In that case, Nakabachi may have actually caused some sort of lasting trauma. So you're concerned about the possibility that things didn't end well? Unfortunately. The worst possible outcomes keep coming to mind. Toshiro, that's... Is the future Prime Minister really scared of one crappy teacher? Just keep your chin up and you'll be fine. You're all grown now, aren't you? Ryuji, what's your deal? Look, I I've already got plenty of crappy memories from my time in school. It's a real long story, but... I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is... It might suck to deal with, but what's done is done. You can try pretending something didn't happen, but it's just gonna keep chasing you anyway. So, if you gotta face it no matter what, do it right and move on. sakamoto kun Whatever the outcome, you needn't be afraid. Even if you find yourself about to fall, He'll be there to support you, so never second-guess yourself. See your convictions through. You had to fight to get here, remember? I'm sure you're ready for this. You already made a promise to Yuki-san that you'd better keep, you hear me? That's all true. I want to... I have to get back to reality, no matter what might await us here. The only way I can do that is by confronting and overcoming my past. I'm ashamed to have needed the encouragement, but I appreciate it all the same. Nothing new there, right? Since the moment we met these folks, they've constantly been saving our necks. Both yours and mine. I'd say we're pretty dang lucky finding solid comrades like them. Quite true. So let's grab the bull by the horns and get my memories back. Now that we're of one mind on this, I suppose all that's left is to name the operation. Right. And we're gonna call it... Operation, Operation Blazing Impulse! Uh... Hmm? Uh... Huh? huh? Oh, brother... Let's move out! Our destination is the rooftop. If we keep pressing on, we're bound to reach it eventually. Okay, this is it. The rooftop's just through that door there! Here goes nothing. Everybody ready? Sure am! I'm raring to whip some enemy tail! Alright, I'm opening it now. Up! Oh, there it is! The creepy door to hell we're after! I wonder if this rooftop has something to do with Toshiro's past as well. That I do not know. All I'm sure of is that we'll have our answer once we go through that door. <sighs> That's the... What are you doing here? You just don't know when to quit. Didn't I tell you to get out of here? Hey, you! You're Nakabachi, aren't you? Mark my words, I'm coming for you. When I find you, I'm going to see the truth myself! <laughs> Quite the attitude you've got there. But it's just an act, isn't it? Deep down, you're actually terrified. This truth you're after, do you really think? Do I get to shut this sick freak's mouth already? No, don't let him get to you. Nakabachi, unfortunately for you, I won't doubt myself again. I've resolved to see this through. Thanks to my comrades standing with me. I will never back down to you. No matter what my past may be, 
I must know the truth. Oh, cocky little... I'll make you eat your words. You'll wish you could run and hide. Ha! Talk about weak. He's the one who sounds like he wants to run and hide. Cheap exit lines like his are the telltale sign of a scrub enemy. I suppose it's a sign that we have him cornered. We should strike while the iron is hot. Okay, time to grab the fourth thing. Whatever it might be. you got I'll give it my all there'll be no mercy huh? I'm perfectly ready prepare yourself what to do here? That sounds good. Wipe them out. I'm perfectly ready. What to do here? Of course. Wipe them out. Tremble before us. All right.
It's over for you! Come forth, my other half!
think you can avoid this. Keep it up, Mona. All right. Let's 
do this. Okay, we're going to fly! What to do here? Let's go. Come! What's that? Now, where's that last thing we're looking for? Um, is that it? Hmm, let's see. What's that? Looks like a voice recorder. A pretty old model, I'm guessing. Okay, Toshiro. You ready for this one? <laughs> yes. Right, I've come to your little meeting. So what are we doing here, hmm? Ah, perhaps you intend to apologize for your insubordination. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm just glad we're all ready to move beyond this. Shut your mouth. Nakabachi, I'll give you one final chance. Turn yourself into the police. Confess what you've done to this school. Hmm. I see now. More of this again? I must say, I'm rather disappointed. Do you realize just how much clout I have in this school? One word from me, and I'll have a whole row of people waiting to do my bidding. It'd be entirely too easy to get two measly troublemakers expelled for constantly slinging baseless accusations. Do you... Understand what I'm telling you? Both of your futures will be ruined. I don't care what happens to me. But you? I know what you deserve. And I'm going to make sure you get it. I won't lie to myself again. I'm going to fight for what I know is right. <laughs> what are you rambling about? Okay. Come out, everyone. Uh, what? Well, you all... What are you doing here? Sir, I... I can't do this anymore. I hate living like this. Spying on people and betraying my friends. Everyone here has agreed to do whatever it takes to see you arrested and charged. The very idea. S seriously don't forget that I have evidence of each one of your misdeeds. If you betray me, I promise I'll completely ruin your future. I don't care if the school finds out anymore. I'll accept my fate, whatever it turns out to be. Kurano-kun? You too? And what of graduating? How do you plan to attend college with that penniless family of yours, huh? Speak for yourself already. You're the one who's to blame for everything in the first place. If you hadn't been such a... such a delinquent! You're right. I made a big mistake. But I shouldn't have covered it up. And for that, 
I need to make amends. The student council president and Matsuhara-san came to us time and time again about this. Every time, they pleaded with us to do the right thing, explaining why it matters so much to them. Thanks to them, I learned something important. It's better to fight for yourself than to live in fear of your own weaknesses and of the consequences. From now on, I'm going to live my life honestly. Kurano-san. I don't have to stand here and listen to this childish prattling. And none of this is proof. Tell me what proof you have that I've done anything wrong. Emails containing your orders to students, call logs, even the school financial ledger. Your victims supplied us with all of it. And above all else, we have the victims' testimonies. Every person here is turning you in. You said victims' testimonies? You absolutely... Low lives. You think you can play the victim card now? It'll take more than that to do me in. There are all sorts of excuses I could cook up to get away with this. <laughs> I'll use every one of my connections if that's what it takes to ruin you kids. <sighs> I certainly didn't expect this to go so well. Huh? See this? I've taken the liberty of recording this conversation. A first party confession. The only proof we need. Uh, uh, I'm done for. All this effort for nothing. <laughs> Way to go, man! You really knocked that out of the park! Right. I remember, the rebellion actually worked. Soon after we exposed him for what he was, Nakabachi was booted from the school. Yes, I would call that poetic justice. Quite the fascinating finale. Plus, that means the phony on the PA has been full of it this whole time. That asshole's been posing as this place's ruler for too long. Well, I'm not so sure. If he's not the ruler, how could he influence a cognitive world to this degree? Yes, even if the rebellion was successful, something always could have happened afterwards. Huh. Until Nakabachi is dealt with, anything could arise. We better ensure we're well prepared. I'm sensing an incoming plot twist. But for now, I'll just be taking that. That should do it. We have all four of the keys now. Although none of them actually turned out to be keys. <sighs> what the? They're all glowing! Whoa, they turned into... They all turned into a single old key? And it has a label tag. Music room. I suppose the music room is where the ruler's been hiding? Toshiro, you said Nakabachi was a music teacher, right? Yes, that's right. Then I think I know what comes next. Let's head back to the hideout first. We should update the club members. Got your key. What? Did you really? Here. This is it, right? Oh, this is it. The long desired music room key. Well done, you lot. With that in hand, victory is essentially ours. Yeah. Now we'll have no choice but to let us go. My Rebel Corps comrades, are you ready to complete our mission? You bet we are. It's time to finish this rebellion! Let's bring the hammer down on that tyrant! Yeah! My, they sure are worked up now, aren't they? Well, think about how long they've been locked up here. Kinda hard to blame them for being so hyped to fight, don't you think? At any rate, we're finally ready to face down the ruler of this kingdom. Folks, we'd better stay on our toes from here on. Yes. 
Morgana's right. Let's only head out once we're ready. As always, be as thorough as possible with the prep work. Trickster, can you hear me? There's something I must share with you immediately. If possible, please come to the Velvet Room right away. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Forgive me for calling you here with such urgency. I felt it necessary that you hear this from me as soon as you were able to come. I'm afraid it's something of an ill omen. Yes. Perhaps you recall our previous conversation about the Velvet Room's alterations? How the cause of said anomaly is likely some outside force? This remains true to my knowledge. However, I recently sensed that the might behind this force has suddenly surged. <sighs> All I can say at this time is that it is a looming presence of great maleficence. The Velvet Room is indelibly linked the heart of the guest. Under normal circumstances, no external influence should be able to alter this place. Tread carefully, Trickster. Your enemy is no standard adversary. You are concerned for my well-being? Well, rest assured, I will overcome any adversity to be by my guest. With no information about our enemy, we appear to be in a situation akin to wandering about on a dark moonless night. However, this room, as well as what future awaits you, lies entirely in your hands. I will, of course, continue supporting you the best I can. Please, never forget the power you hold. I suppose that was unnecessary for someone with so much experience overcoming incredible obstacles. A path will surely open for you as long as the flame in your heart continues to burn brightly. With that said, we shall meet again when the time has come. So, what did Miss Lavenza want? It must have been important for her to go out of her way to summon you. Oh, really? An omen, huh? We still don't know what's getting to Lavenza, though. Better keep our guard up. All we know is that it's more powerful now. I wonder why. Well, it's not like we can do anything about it now, right? They got a problem with us, they'll eventually show their faces, and their asses for us to kick. And there's the jock's take on the issue! Although, I actually agree. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, we finally have the key that will allow us to reach this kingdom's ruler. Perhaps we should focus on that while keeping this ambiguous warning in the back of our minds. Good idea! Let's get out there and finish this! Ready to head out now. All that's left is taking down the enemy leader.
Time to write. I'm sorry. That's right. Let's go. Better jot that down.
Now then. Leave it to me. Here I go. All right. Get ready. Show me what you've got. Now then. Leave it to me. All right. What to do here? Get ready. Here I go. All right. Leave it to me. Show me what you've got. Now then. Let's do this. All right. All right. Leave it to me. Show me what you've what got. To do Get here. ready. All right. All right. Leave it to me. Show me what you've got. Now then. Let's do this. Here I go. What to do here? Get ready. Show me what you've All got. Right. Let's do this. All right. Now then. Get ready. Here I go. All right. Leave it to me. Show me what you've got. Do here. Let's do this. Here I go. All right. Get ready. All right. Now then. Let's do this. Show me what you've got. All right. You're done. Cool, as always, Joker. You got him. Oh. Get ready. Here I go. What to do here? Yes. Leave it to me. Do here. There. Oh, no, as always, Joker. You got him. Nice. Leave it to me. All right. Now then. Let's do this. What to do here? Fire! <laughs> the mark. Oh! Get ready! 
Show me what no. you've got. Study my aim. Joker. 
longer. Send this. Thank you. I should write that down. Here we are. My comrades! After great pains, we have finally reached the decisive moment! To battle! We'll show that swine the punishment he deserves! ready to tear it up in there. At least they're on our side. <sighs> What's wrong, Arena? Worried about the fight? Huh? Oh, sorry. Am I that obvious? I was just thinking about how there's no turning back once we open this door. Oh, are you getting cold feet now? I didn't like you at all. No, I don't have a problem with the fight. More like I've got butterflies in my stomach. Maybe it's just pre-fight jitters after all. I'm sure they'll go away soon. There's no telling what's in there, but at least we know we have some advantages. 
Morale's through the roof on average. And we've got experience with the fights in these creepy rooms. We've just got one more fight left anyway, right? We're close to the curtain call. Let's make an effort to close this out with a flourish. Right. It's high time we finish this. No matter what history has in store for me, I'm prepared to accept it. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready when you are. We've made it this far. There's no reason we can't see this through. Yeah, we can do this. All of us, together. All right, here we go! crimes were exposed to the public. Our rebellion was a success. Every last one of your spies flipped on you. <laughs> what are you on about? You don't truly believe you did the right thing by putting together your little uprising, do you? Of course I do. If we hadn't taken a stand, we'd be... We'd... We'd be... I'm all right now. Justice is on our side! The revolution is nigh! We will purge the evil from this place! Time to settle the score! Mm, I've heard enough of this racket! Don't you losers realize you're nearly reaping what you sowed? But it's your job to teach children right from wrong! Instead, all you did was exploit their situations for your own gain! Shut up! You brats can't even cook up a single variation of your immature theme. Listen well, oh dear pupils. Some say society functions like a song. That people are supposed to compliment one another for a common cause. And that is absolute nonsense! People climb the social ladder using the backs of others. It's a simple concept. How can you fail to comprehend this? This guy refuses to change his tune. You extorted students for your own gain, lording over the school as you pleased. If we must punish you again, then we will. Yes, I'll reprise my role from before, Nakabachi. I will show you the error of your ways once more. You heard the man. You're about to get it, slime bag. There are those who rule, and those who are ruled. How do you not recognize this familiar tune? How much lecturing does it take to get through to you nitwits? Initializing training curriculum! Commencing instruction! What the hell? Robot incoming! I wonder what its specs are. Well... Wonder how the heck we're gonna deal with it. We just gotta get down to business. Here it comes.
All right. Fire! Oh, as always, Take Joker. This. You got him! Wipe them out. I won't miss. Direct hit! This is it! Bob, you're on a roll! You're done! Oh, as always, Joker! You've got him! Yes. Cut them down. All right. It's showtime! Wipe them out! Wipe them out. All right. With this, I'll wipe you away. All right. I'm perfectly ready. Fall now. Nice going, Fox. What to do here? Let's go! Ah! 
perfectly ready. I am thou. Wipe them out, Goemon! Here I go! Nice cover! Her spirit and just strength! What to do here? Wipe them out! Here I go! What to do here? Persona! Let's go! Now's the time! Let's go! Are set! I'll cut them down. I am now. Wipe them out, going on! Really? Show me what you've got! Them out. Okay, boss. Time no to raise thing. the curtain. All right. What to do here? Now's the time. Take this. I'll cut them down. Well 
I'm perfectly ready. Did we do it? You gotta ask? You know we won! Nice going, Toshiro! Yeah, you weren't too shabby back there. Not on my level, of course, but who is? Huh. I see. So it's over. We did it. We did it! Oh, we finally got Toshiro into hype mode! Toshiro stood up for himself and fought that battle on his own terms. Given his situation, he must be awfully relieved that we pulled it off. It's finally over! We got the mastermind within our grasp! The struggle has reached the turning point! Prepare for your final punishment! Damn you, Toshiro Kasukame! How many times must you get in my way? As many as it takes. I have no problem standing up for what's right anymore. That's right. So why don't you make things easier for yourself and give up already? I'm done for. I'm done for! <laughs> Is that what you hope to hear? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to be having a right good time, eh? It's laughable to put all the blame on this man and play the revolutionary game. It's high time you remembered your crime! Your truth! <laughs> for all this effort for nothing <laughs> hey did you hear about nakabachi i sure did you know there was this one time he gave me a real skeevy look get this the old coot doc points off my overall grade for insubordination hey doesn't that mean we're victims of his, too? Yeah, we ought to hold him accountable. We're gonna get, get you, out here, you, you coward! Nakabachi. We're coming for get you! Get now. Hm. Uh. 
Don't be so down, Toshiro. Uh, not that I don't know how you feel. Things were going fine enough until we talked the other students into confronting Nakabachi. After we got them all on board, we wound up with the entire school going after him. By the end, even students with their own questionable allegations were calling for his head. Honestly, I'd have to be either stupid or cruel for this to not affect me. That's true. I'm sorry. No, I'm not blaming you at all. The people I blame are the ones forming a lynch mob for the man. I hear some students even chased him into his own home, harassing him for all sorts of stupid stuff. They blamed him for things like their deserved detentions or whatever excuses they spun up for their poor grades. All we wanted was for him to face proper judgment for the crimes he committed. It sounds like Nakabachi's been holed up in his house, except when he's summoned for questioning. Some people say he's cracking up from the pressure. Honestly, I'm starting to think I was wrong about the average person's self-control. You try to find the right words to convey what's ethical, but ultimately you can't get through to them. Toshiro, it's too soon to give up. Let's try talking it over with everyone again tomorrow, okay? Yes, good idea. This is our responsibility. Let's do everything we can until it's actually over. Yeah. Thanks, Toshiro. As long as we do this together, I'm sure we can pull it off. We'll turn this around. Senpai. The express train will be arriving momentarily. Please remain behind the yellow line. <laughs> What's this guy doing? <laughs> Time to write. Hey, who was that? Uh, that's right. I was... Oh, what's the matter, Toshiro? You seem distressed. I thought you had no problem standing up for what's right. Stop it! Ugh. I don't believe that I will. Remember how good it felt when you had Nakabachi on the ropes? A righteous crusade to topple an unjust ruler? A banner of justice to unite those who were wronged? Why don't you face reality? You sicked a lynch mob on Nakabachi, and because of your actions, Natsuharu was... Stop it! Please! Stop! Nakabachi, your classmates, even Natsuhara, I can only imagine how much they resent you. I must say, watching you march in here, utterly oblivious to what you did, was an absolute riot! <laughs> You miscreant! What's your goal here? Perhaps you should focus on yourselves, phantom thieves of hearts. You do realize you're partly to blame for Toshiro's sordid situation, correct? No matter the name, a thief is a thief. And believe me when I say your childish ideals have sent the world down a ruinous path. Oh, how intimidating! I'm guessing you plan on forcing me to submit to your so-called rebellion. Spare us the lecture. If you've got a problem with us, face us yourself. Now, now, no need to rush. There's still more to tell of this sordid tale. We'll meet again soon. 
once the full truth comes to light. The full truth? That is, of course. Only if that spineless louse of a man still has the will to fight afterwards. Until then, I'll be waiting for you with the source of all this pain. Damn it! How was that about? Hey, guys! Arena's missing! Source of pain. Could that have something to do with Arena? Then, from the sounds of things, I think he might have kidnapped her. Then we have to save her! Let's go find her before. Hey, you! We were looking for you. Wait, what? We've got you. We finally got you! You! It's you! Hey, chill out! You guys aren't making any sense! How can you say that? The ruler of this world, the source of all evil, is finally before us! Huh? Seriously, what's happening? We've got you now! <laughs> You're the one who drove us to ruin, Toshiro Kasukabe! <gasps> I thought Nakabachi was the ruler of this kingdom. If only we could finally be rid of him. Get over here, Kasukabe! Yeah, it's all his fault! I didn't do anything wrong! That bastard Toshiro! He ruined everything all for himself! If that slime ball hadn't goaded us, we wouldn't have... <laughs> Prepare yourself! You're going to pay for your crimes! Damn it! What the hell is going on? Roger that. First we get through this. Then we'll go rescue Arena. No mercy. Here I go. Let's do this. My turn. I'm ready. Leave it to me.
show no mercy. As you wish. Let's do this. Think you can evade oh, me? Hit, Mona. Now do it again. them out. I'm ready. 
Here we go. off. If the despised Nakabachi truly were this kingdom's ruler, then the others here haven't been following their roles properly. However, if the true ruler were the student council president, and not the deposed vice principal... You did this to us! It's all your fault! You ruined us! And Natsu Harasan too! Eri, how are things? Oh, it's fine. Or I guess I just can't tell the difference anymore. More importantly, how did things turn out at school? Mm. Nakabachi was charged for his crimes. So were all the students who drove him to snapping. I see. Sounds like everyone got a crappy ending out of this, didn't they? And you? I'm sure this hasn't been easy on you, either. No. You don't have to lie. Anyone with half a brain would guess that the kids who got punished are blaming us for it. And you're the only one at school who they can vent at now. It's all right. Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, Toshiro. I'm just... so sorry. It's my fault. If it weren't for me... Don't say that. It's not like you. The area I know would never give up, no matter what we were facing. Come on, where's that carefree attitude of yours? We'll start the next chapter. That's what you'd say, right? I'm sorry, Toshiro. But I just... can't fight anymore. It's all coming back. Remember? Everything. It's all right. I'm not off my rocker yet. I just... I can't believe what a fool I was. I became so intoxicated by righteousness that I only made the situation worse. And I got people hurt. As if that weren't bad enough, I came this close to making the same disastrous mistakes again. I am truly a... Fool beyond redemption. Hey, hey, you sound pathetic right now, Pops. You know Arena's in trouble, right? Is this really the time to be spacing out? Yes, you're right. Phantom Thieves, I have a favor to ask. Would you just leave me here? It's not like I'm going to be of much use to you anyways. Now is not the time for jokes. Yusuke's right. Besides, if you stay in a place like this... If it's what's meant to be, then so be it. <gasps> <laughs> Who knows how many people I've hurt. All because I convinced myself I was doing the right thing. You all saw my past, didn't you? You saw how it all ended. Well, I'm not strong enough to laugh off those scars. How am I going to live with myself if I take a stand again? I'll only end up hurting all of you this time. I, it was all a mistake! At this point, I'd rather just... Ah. Oracle? I know what it's like to be so sick and tired of everything that you almost want to die. But even if you're in a dark place, you promised your mom, didn't you? To call that a mistake would be... Just don't say you want to run from it all by dying! Sakura-kun. I believe pressing on now would be a fool's errand. Yeah, it might be best for us to go back to the hideout for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like we thought, 
they're all gone now. What was their problem anyway? Attacking us out of the blue like that? I'm guessing they were created from Toshiro's memories of students who he inspired to rebel. At first, it seemed like they were divided between those who stood up to Nakabachi versus those who obeyed him. But really, both groups could be classified as people holding grudges against Toshiro-san. Yeah, but isn't that their own fault for pushing Nakabachi into a corner? I mean, it's not like Toshiro was responsible for his breakdown. In the end, maybe everyone was just looking for a scapegoat. It seems like sometimes human beings can't help but to pin their problems on others. I won't say anyone in particular is to blame, but that was a rough ending for Toshiro, no doubt about it. I hope he's all right. He hasn't said anything in a while now. Ah, jeez. Fine. Let me go give him a pep talk and a mid. Uh, hold on, Ryuji. Uh, uh. Mm. Mm? Mm. One cup of LeBlanc's finest. Your favorite, remember? Not that it compares to what he or the boss can whip up. Oh, thanks. Thank you. It's bitter. Add some sugar, then. Also, <laughs> sorry for hitting you. No, don't be. I deserved it. I'm a fully grown adult and I threw a childish tantrum. I'm sorry for the trouble. Don't mention it. I only lent my assistance because Futaba told me she needed help making... You've got some loose lips, Inari! I want to apologize to all of you as well. Before you do that, I think we need to apologize as well. After all, we're the ones who pushed you to go there in the first place. About what happened to you in the past? I know it'd be unfair to say we know how you feel. But in the end, you were just pushing for what you believed was right, weren't you? No one could have predicted things would turn out the way they did. Hmm. Everyone makes mistakes, and we're certainly no exception. But we do make a point of not having regrets about the actions we take. Actually, maybe we're like Natsuhara, the girl from your past. We just don't want to see them as mistakes. Yeah, I guess so. Not that we know if that's the right thing to do either. Take a stand, I falter, then I get discouraged, and you all come to pick me back up. Only for me to falter again. I'm supposed to be a proper adult, but I keep getting stuck in this cycle. You know, it's actually kind of a relief finally seeing the truth. Whether child or adult, there will always be setbacks and growth. There is no human who possesses a perfect heart. Mm-hmm. People can't move forward if they don't put the past behind them. Well... I think I'll just take your word for it. So, what's the plan? We're fine with you sticking around the hideout if that's what you want. No. Please, let me come with you. I'm not so bold as to claim I'll be able to handle anything that may come my way. But right now, I don't want to run. I need to stick it out if I want to be true to myself. <laughs> Roger that. Okay, then it's full steam ahead. Sakura-kun. You saved me from breaking my promise with my mother. If I ever make a fool of myself again, feel free to knock some sense into me a second time. Oh, sure! Leave it to me! I'll make your head swell up like a takoyaki! <laughs> a takoyaki? Well, there you have it. It seems I'll be in your care a short while longer. Yes, I look forward to it. Now that that's settled, we need to go rescue Arena, stat. Morgana's right. It's also high time we settled things with whoever's pulling the strings around here. That said, where do we begin our search? There isn't anyone left who could offer us a lead. I keep scanning as far as I can reach, but I still haven't gotten any hits. I have a hunch as to where he may be. 
this place is truly connected to events in my past, and there's only one place left for us to go. Also, it may just be my gut feeling, but I can sense that Arena is there. I'll lead the way, if you'd like. I'm very worried about her. Let's depart the moment you're ready. But... No way.
Better jot that down. here after all is this a student council room i don't know what that fiend's plotting but this is the place i was most attached to as a student it's also where i spent the most time with airy so it's the perfect place for him to play his sick mind games with you again huh how are you doing toshiro honestly i'm on the brink of falling apart i can't guarantee i won't lose it again I'm sure he'll smack some sense into me if it happens, right? But I'm sure you'll slap some sense into me if that happens, right? Oh, he took it down a notch. In any case, I can no longer sincerely claim that I'm firm in my convictions. But that being said, I'm not going to run either. That's where I'm at right now. That's okay. Honestly, we're all in the same boat here. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're immune to fear. Like Irina said, whenever one of us feels stuck, we need to step in and provide support. That's all there is to it. Thank you. Now let's get going. We'll save Irina, and I'll settle the score with my past. real off about this place. <gasps> Everyone, over there! <sighs> Arena! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to see you've arrived safely. How many times must I repeat myself? Who the hell are you? Who am I? My, what a surprise! I am the embodiment of your sin. I'm you, Toshiro. Me? <laughs> so, have you finally remembered everything, Toshiro? Do you recall the crime you committed? Uh, wait, is that... He looks just like Toshiro. Don't tell me. A twin would be unlikely, right? Agreed. Then this guy must be Toshiro's shadow? <laughs> and so our fated encounter is finally upon us. We meet at last, my other self. You remember it all now, don't you? Being nothing more than a mindless puppet at your fiancé's beck and call. Killing your mother by dragging her out on a selfish whim. And then masquerading as a hero of your school, only to send your idol careening into the depths of despair. All of these are sins you decided to deny. Isn't that Shut up! You know, Toshiro, I pity you. All of your pain and suffering is because of her, Eri Natsuhara. And this girl, the lingering husk of your dream. Bastard! The hell do you think you're doing to Arena? Stop it! Don't you dare touch her! Don't touch her? You want me to leave her alone, do you? Don't lie to me. Be honest, Toshiro. You despised her, didn't you? 
You went through hell all on account of her silly ideals. Trust me, I know. I knew, after all. So rejoice! Your wish is about to be granted. Haven't you realized by now, Toshiro? What? What's going on? Is this... The incessant pain and suffering you had to endure. It's all because of her! <laughs> this girl truly is... your inescapable curse. Where are we? What's going on? Do you finally understand now? The one to blame for your pathetic life. One full of cowed obedience. Stop! I said stop! How about we change that course for you now? I'll take this curse called Eri Natsuhara and purge her from your soul eternally! Let's go, guys! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Is that real? The best you have to offer? You've fallen right into my trap without a second thought! He hid them behind us. How could I fall for that? All this taunting was merely a setup, was it? Such a careless blunder. Don't you see, Toshiro? There's no one left to save you now. Resolve. Conviction. Ideals. <laughs> you can try to numb your soul with cheap words, but it won't make a difference. Come now. Have you returned to your senses? You must remember all that pain and fear you hid away. <sighs> now remember it! Drink it all in! For it will be the moment the symbol of your revolution rots away! You just stay put and behave yourself while I strangle this rebel filth. <laughs> Take it, Toshiro! Huh? <laughs> what a wasted effort. He won't be fighting back any longer. Now, for the finishing touch. Be grateful, Toshiro. After this, You'll never make the same foolish mistake again. <laughs> Die, you accursed husk of Eri Natsuhara! Toshiro... <laughs> Remember... how it actually ended. What we did... wasn't a mistake. But I just can't fight anymore. Still, though, you shouldn't regret what we have done. Huh? You see, Kurano-san came by earlier. Kurano? You mean the whistleblower? She apologized 
over and over. She really feels guilty for the way things turned out. Apparently, she told the school about her part-time job. Said she wishes she'd done it sooner. <laughs> I knew it. We never should have. But she also said she's grateful. Huh? She said she's in a much better place than if she'd done nothing and let Nakabachi go on using her. Her exact words were, Thank you so much. Seriously. Oh. Toshiro? You need to see her, no, our point of view. I won't say we handled it all the right way, but deciding to stand up to Nakabachi, I know in my heart that wasn't a mistake. As for me, I may not be fighting by her side for a while. But if you can find a way to keep fighting, to hold on to that will for change instead of regretting it, then I promise I'll catch back up to you one day, and we'll keep making this world better. Natsuhara, senpai. So, at the very least, that's what I want to do. You're your own person, with your own future to find. But, I know your heart. One day you're going to... <sighs> the hope she placed in you, it's still right here. So please, please, stand up, Toshiro! Stand up! Shop, I take care of business! Disgusting lies won't work on me. Uh, that's right. I'm... <laughs> you seem to have found... 
find your resolve. All manner of suffering can lead your heart astray. But a kindled flame can withstand any strife in this world. And with this, we begin the next chapter. I am now, thou art I. Now. Call my name! <laughs> Rebellion is here. The rebellion within my heart. My turn. Pierce them. All right. Joker, we just witnessed Toshiro's resolve. All right. Now it's our turn. My turn. I'll cut them down. Nice position. You'll be Persona. well hidden. Wipe them out. Go him off. All right, let's go. What to do here? Whip them into shape. So it's my turn. Nice work, Toshiro. That's some skillful hiding. Our unbreakable resolve. Show them our strength! Witness our power as one! We fight together! Fire away, Ernesto! Oh, so sad! Alright! Send him flying! Now then. I'll show no mercy. 
Shall we do this? Persona! We fight together! And this one! What to do here? So it's my turn. Our unbreakable resolve! Fire away, Ernesto! That's <laughs> so unfortunate. Bad. Can you get through this? All right. Fire! Joker's hit the mark! Wipe them out. So it's my turn. What to do here? My turn. I'm perfectly ready. Shall we do this. All right. I'll show no mercy. Wipe them out. So it's my turn. Our unbreakable resolve. What to do here?
Wipe them out. Nice position. Persona. You'll be well hidden. Nice cover. Come, my other self. Persona. Wipe them out. Go him off. Let's go! Persona! Our unbreakable resolve! Don't you rush down the plane! Good work there! That's oh. perfect! You'll be safe Take there! Uh. Whip them into shape! Nice move, Panther! A stylish infiltration! Wipe them out. Prepare yourself. Wipe them out. Go him off. I'll show no mercy. That's perfect. You'll be safe there. Get ready. A little closer. All right. Now let's hope the prey falls into your trap. <laughs> Understand? All right. Now then. It's okay. over. We're down one enemy. Human punk Samus. Reinforcements? Well, we still gotta do this. What to do here? I'll show no mercy. Wipe them out. All right, let's go. Certainly changed. Where's all that cockiness of yours? <laughs> you should watch your tongue, Toshiro. If this form is not enough to cow you, then perhaps your greatest failure will. He's gone? No, he's still close. Don't let your guard down, people. Is this an earthquake? 
not. sure you get it! Uh, Phantom Thieves! Let's go! Yes! yes! Turn. You 
got this down, Skull! Then you quiet! You hit him! Good job, Skull! You will fall! Damn it! How about that time you open it? Yeah! You will fall! Better get ready. Shall we do this? Nice work, Toshiro. Show them our strength. Yoko hiding. Persona! And this one! No! Let's do this. Here I go. Nice cover! Persona! Yohana! No! Now it's my turn. Skull, nice work! Time to go wild! Leave it to me. Let's go! That's perfect! You'll be safe there! We fight together! I won't miss! A direct hit! Right You're doing well, Toshiro! Better get ready! I'm ready! Leave it to me. Nice cover! 
over. Behold the proof of my determination. Come forth, my other half. I'm ready. That's perfect. You'll be safe there. Nice position. You'll be well hidden. That's perfect. You'll be safe there. This nice is position. Just for You'll you. be well hidden. Now it's my turn. Get ready. All right, let's do this. You've got this down, Skull. Then be quiet. Leave it to me. You hit him. Good job, Skull. I'll it's take Kona. For you. That spot should be safe. Zoro!
So it's my turn. Here I go. Good job, Queen. You're perfect there. Nice cover. This will be a terrific hit. All right, let's go. Queen got a hit. That'll show them. Show them That's our strength. Perfect. You'll be safe there. <laughs>
So it's my turn. That's it, Toshiro. Our unbreakable that was perfect. What? Toshiro just landed. Good work there. Finally over. and all, but what the hell just happened? Yes, we could use some help getting caught up. In that case, I'll explain what I can. Granted, I only understand so much. Did something come back to you? Yeah. I was made from Toshiro's heart. I'm more like a manifestation of his heart. For some reason, human cognition can lead to the physical materialization of their own heart in the metaverse. Shadows, personas, cognitive beings, all these originate within the human heart. But in your case, despite checking all the boxes, you aren't exactly any of those. Hmm. <sighs> She definitely seemed to be Toshiro's persona a second ago. And now she's back to the arena we know, through and through. I admit, I have no idea how relevant your past experience is to my own situation. But what I do know is, I serve as the core of Toshiro's heart. My reason for existence is to protect it. Protect it from who, exactly? Marie and... Hmm. No, I think it's actually something more powerful. I don't know his true identity, but he's been awfully dedicated to torturing me in particular. And I believe he's someone who especially didn't want me awakening to my power. Whoa, what's that? <gasps> Look, up there!
reinforcements? No. This is... <laughs> what the hell is going on now? Oh, crap. Weapons at the ready! Let's go! <laughs> Judging by the appearance, looks like the Mastermind has finally made its entrance! Now, now. Do not be so frightened, my beloved children. I am Samael, caretaker of humanity and protector of mankind's well-being. That sure is a lofty-sounding pretense. I'm assuming you're the one responsible for everything that's happened. The one? If it's for the sake of my beloved children, I shall graciously accept this moniker. My sole wish is to protect all of man, my precious lost little lambs. I am a being born from a prayerful peace, an instinct manifest in all who wish safety from calamity. As such, it is my duty to eradicate what some may call the willful reform, truly the root of all comfort. In doing so, I shall rescue my... children from throwing themselves into the inferno of war. Damn it! would you just speak English? You're not making any sense. If comprehension eludes you, then so be it. My protection is of a unilateral nature to begin with anyways. Accordingly, I have no intention of crossing arms with you in the first place. You said your name was Samael, right? Tell us, what made you decide to come down now? Given all the trouble you went through to break down Toshiro's heart behind the scenes. The fact that you're showing yourself now tells me something. We messed up your plans, didn't we? Had to come see it for yourself. Silence, you tainted child of calamity and war. I won't deny the children that I have been tasked to protect are on the brink of straying from that benediction. Therefore, allow me to shepherd you to your salvation. I implore you to accept my convocation of peace. And that means? The power you just obtained is a mask of madness, one which will assuredly drive man to ruin. However, if you should wish to have it removed, I shall make it so. In doing so, you would be relieved of the tragic memories you experienced here, and return to the life you know. So you're saying if Toshiro-san abandons the power of his awakened persona, you'll get rid of his memories of this world, and send him back to the real world? Indeed. Furthermore, my offer is not limited to him. The path of salvation is an invitation I extend to all of you. Though you may be infidels who have the audacity to defy a god, I trust this world has been edifying. Here you witness the folly of running into the flames of battle, brandishing nothing but discordant values. You're... Now, you needn't be hasty. The intoxication of a fleeting victory has clouded your senses. I shall be waiting to hear your true verdict at a different venue. Hey, who said you could just... Uh? There goes that windbag. <laughs> sure loves to hear itself talk, huh? 
If I'm understanding, it's saying if we stand out and surrender, it'll send us back to the real world, right? Yep, I'd say that was the gist. Real generous of you, buddy. I know what it said was ridiculous, but I can't deny the feats it's pulled off so far. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I think its power is the real deal. That's awfully pessimistic of you, Alina. I guess that's true. Maybe I am feeling some uneasiness. According to Salmael, I'm the reason this whole thing happened in the first place. Not that I think everything it said was true, but I won't say I wasn't bothered by it either. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Toshiro, I'm trying to be serious here. I'm just saying, meeting the head honcho seems to have made you unusually meek. But hey, perhaps you intend to accept this gracious offer of salvation? No, that's not what I... Uh... If you have a goal you believe in, then you keep moving forward. Even if it means knowing you'll get hurt. That's what you and everyone else taught me. Well, sounds like Toshiro has decided on his answer. That's right. It'll take more than a bit of lecturing to make us have a change of heart. I agree. I don't see Salvation as throwing away everything we've done so far, either. If we were willing to settle for a deal like that, we wouldn't be the Phantom Thieves. I don't think that's changed since we came to this world. In fact, I think we're even more firm in our resolve now. Honestly, I don't quite understand the nature of this new power I've awakened. But the one thing I'm certain of is that you're the physical manifestation of the courage inside me. And nothing some egotistical god says is going to change that. Hoshiro, oh, you're right. Thanks. Hey, way to go, Toshiro! What'd you learn to talk the talk, huh? But I think we have our decision now, don't you think? Okie dokie! Time to wrap this thing up, leader! Joker, I couldn't have made it this far without you. Your confidence means the world to me. So, will you fight with me until the end? I couldn't ask for a better set of allies. Hell yeah! Time to fry up this salmon jerkwad! Wait, how are we even gonna reach the thing? Um, up? That doesn't really help us. Is that a train? Everyone? Miss Lavenza? Why did Miss Lavenza become the sky and come here from the train? It is going to be all right, Morgana. Uh, is she an acquaintance of yours? From talking cats to blue children, you sure have an eclectic bunch of acquaintances, don't you? Excuse me, but please refrain from making peculiar characterizations of people. Actually, let's save that for later. It seems to me that you all have a destination to get to. Should your will be resolute, I am willing to lend you my aid. I only ask that you make your decision while this room retains its present form. Room? Do you mean this train is... Indeed. This is but another manifestation of the Velvet Room. However, as for why it assumed its current form following its previous volatile state, frankly speaking, even I do not have that answer. While that does beg a plethora of concerning questions, this doesn't feel like the right time to raise them. 
So we'll be skirting across the night sky on a flying express line? What fun! Would you mind if I took a moment to sketch the train in its entirety? I would mind. Please board immediately. What? Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on! You got it! Full steam ahead! Right? Woo! Toshiro, do the thing! You know, choo-choo! You do realize that's not what a train actually sounds like, right? Don't be a spoil sport! Just do it! Choo-choo! Why are you doing it? We have some interesting characters in the fray now, don't we? Quite a novel proposition, I should say. That's what you call hanging with the homies, is it not? But I think I will save that for when this is all over. We are now departing. Please exercise caution so you are not flung from the train. Better jot that down. The train is en route to its destiny. Please have patience while we wait for its arrival. You okay, man? Nerves still messing with you? Well... Yes, a bit. I'm worried that we're headed to the final showdown without certain details being sorted out. I feel the same. There's still the question of Irina, and this world itself. Not to mention the fact that we're not even sure what exactly it is we're going to fight. I am not sure how much help I will be, but if you'd like, I can share with you what I know. Please be aware that this will involve a degree of speculation, but I should be able to provide some useful information. I too have been conducting investigations into the nature of Salmael's existence. What I have found suggests it is the materialization of an instinct which exists subconsciously in the human heart. So do you mean... It's a sort of malevolent god, like Yaldabaoth? Unlike the god of control, who was born from a collective yearning for idleness, Salmael is... how should I put this? A universal instinct that's burdened man since the beginning of time. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to die. Man's innate desire of self-preservation is another way to put it. One might call it a material embodiment of this instinct, born from an ocean of human subconsciousness. So, kind of like the personification of people's consciousness that goes, No, don't hurt me! Right? Mm, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound so bad, but... Perhaps it was the passage of time or perhaps it was a change in the nature of the human soul. In any case, a transformation occurred for the purpose of keeping pain at bay. Whether you consider the battles one fights to assert their convictions, or the will driving them towards their fruition, it seems to think that all potential sources of pain ought to be eradicated. If there is anything that does differentiate it from the god of control, it is that Salmael believes it is protecting humanity by eliminating individuals with ideologies it deems threatening. So Salmael thinks it's protecting humanity, huh? Oh, good grief, that's one of the worst types to deal with. Then that means it'll do whatever it takes to destroy those it deems likely to cause people pain, correct? The words and actions it has exhibited thus far would seem to suggest so. Ah, oh, crap. Now I'm confused again. So, in simpler terms... 
um... Well, this might not be perfectly accurate, but... Selmael's stated goal is to ensure that people don't get hurt or suffer. And in order to accomplish that, it came to the conclusion that any risk taken to fight for something is undesirable. Does that sound about right? Furthermore, given our nature as humans, there will always be those who take a stand to initiate change. And that gives Salmael an endless supply of people to stamp out for having these dangerous ideas. Dangerous ideas? In other words, they possess the will of revolution. A desire to take a stand against authority. So, this time around, Toshiro fits the bill, huh? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. I'm very taken by this drawing here. Could I give my opinion on it? Maybe leave that for later. All right, that's enough about that. Now that we have a... Decent grasp on Salmael. What's next? This place... It's a spiritual world ruled by Salmael. It was built using your cognition, Toshiro. In more succinct terms, this is a metaverse Salmael constructed to break your will. I have come to the conclusion that that is the most accurate way to describe it. That seems like a lot of trouble just to take me out. Under normal circumstances, it would have been able to erase your will simply by invading your mind. But a budding power to resist its domination had already taken root inside of you. Power to resist? Oh, I get it. You mean a persona? Precisely. The persona is an armor of rebellion, meant to resist those who would try to exert their influence over others. Like the Phantom Thieves, interfering with those who possess this power is no small task. And you're saying this power of the will had started to take root in me as well? It is quite plausible if there was something to trigger it. Anything happened to you recently that rings a bell? Like, you ever think, I'm having a birth of willpower, baby? That's quite a crude analogy. Oh! So it did help you think of one! It was the end of last year. As I told you before, I'd been undecided on whether to indict my father for his wrongdoings. And it was right around that time when you all hijacked the live TV broadcast. Here I was struggling to stand up to my father while you were boldly proclaiming your beliefs to the entire nation. When I thought about it that way, I felt inspired to show the same courage as you. As for what happened next, well, you already know that part. It is still only a possibility but a faint seed of power may have taken root within him then. Of course, a persona can be awakened in other ways, too. I see. I think I'm starting to understand. Agreed. In other words, with ordinary people, Salmael is able to invade their minds whenever it pleases. But with Toshiro, the subtle emergence of a power to resist prevented it from interfering. These drawings are so, uh, <laughs> unique. I'm kind of at a loss here, but... <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Additionally, Toshiro-san being able to resist Samael's power meant he posed an even greater threat. So it was willing to do whatever it took to snuff him out. And the moment it made the decision to eradicate my will for social change, it created this place. Yes. The metaverse... ...we currently find ourselves in is called the Kingdoms. Salmael must have attempted to purge your will by using the memories which lay dormant in your heart. Well, I never would have guessed there was a war being waged inside my own mind. Even so, your subconscious was putting up a fight against Salmael's invasion from the very beginning. And amidst it all, 
It's very likely that's when you were born within Toshiro Kasukabe's spirit. Me? Just like Salmael used the individuals from Toshiro's memory as symbols of domination, there was another individual in Toshiro's heart who embodied the spirit of revolution. Mary. With your mind under attack, you subconsciously materialized Aerie and entrusted your hope to her. This hope was the power of your persona, the thing that Salmael was trying to destroy before it fully formed. Hmm. So in effect, this is what you're saying, yes? Salmael created the kingdoms to try and quash the potential of Toshiro's power. In response, Toshiro's heart created Arena as a symbol of revolution, and the keeper of his power. So every battle the Rebel Corps fought was ultimately an effort to protect Toshiro's will. Oh, not bad, Fox. <laughs> I can't let you take all the glory, can I? What are you trying to prove to her anyways? Things were looking pretty grim before the Phantom Thieves got here, so I'm not sure if I'd have lasted much longer. You had only a fraction of power, but it was also very faint. It stands to reason that you would be unable to stave off Salmael's invasion on your own. However, no matter how persistently Salmael attacked, it was never able to completely wither out your will. Thus, hitting the limits of its patience, Salmael opted for a last resort. That is when it must have dragged the real Toshiro Kasukabe into this metaverse. And then it used my fiance. My father and my imposter. Each one of my traumas trying to corner me. It wasn't able to break Toshiro's heart with Arena defending it, so it went for the throat instead. Ugh, seriously? Using a person's memories to try and break them down emotionally is some real sick stuff. You got that right. For the people. Who's it kidding? But that didn't go according to plan either, did it? No, it did not. Therefore, it would stand to reason that Salmael is also in a difficult position. The fact that it showed itself would seem to indicate the intention to settle things with its own hands. Which means we're in for a head-to-head -head fight, right? Yes. You have the general idea. I know we went through all this relatively quickly, but we will be arriving shortly. I will be happy to answer any more questions to the best of my ability after we arrive. Thank you, Miss Lavenza. To put it plainly, the enemy is yet another nosy god wannabe. It's not going to be an easy fight, but when has that ever stopped the Phantom Thieves? Pardon me. We will be arriving momentarily, everyone. Are all your preparations in order? Hell yeah! Bring it on! I would have liked to enjoy this pleasant train ride a bit longer, but I suppose that we'll have to wait until we clean up this mess. Our morale couldn't be higher. Onwards! No cause for concern, I see. Very well. I will take us right in. Safely. Please, watch your step getting off. Excuse me, but is that what you call safe? The world did three whole rotations. I'm dizzy. S sorry. <laughs> Could I get a bag or something? <laughs> Ugh. Anyhow, it looks like we made it to the enemy stronghold. Do you think Samael's waiting up ahead? Yes. But I wouldn't expect a warm reception. I would suggest going further only when amply prepared. Unfortunately, we're on the enemy's doorstep. There's no time to do it. 
Adol. We should probably wait until he's recovered. Time to write. By the look on your face, I take it there is still something on your mind. I am more than happy to shed some light on your understanding of the situation, if you would like. Of course. So what would you like to discuss first? As I told you before, this is the Velvet Room, but with an altered appearance. The appearance of the Velvet Room will change depending on the visitor's state of mind. But typically, once an appearance has been determined, a second transformation should not be possible. Therefore, I believe this world and Salmael are responsible for the current aberration from the norm. Is this related to what you said before? About the room being unstable? Salmael is an entity that specializes in rooting out threatening ideologies within humanity. In other words, the ability to counteract is presumably one of its strengths. However, Nullifying either one entirely seems to have been beyond its means. Furthermore, because the Velvet Room regained its form from within a state of limbo, I presume its current appearance is only temporary. It seems safe to assume so. Between the interference of Salmael, the growth of your own heart, and the will of Toshiro Kasukabe. The present appearance is likely the result of these irregularities happening all at once. That makes sense. Well, at any rate, having this train has been a major convenience. For now, let's just be grateful for it. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Salmael was the entity responsible for creating this world in Toshiro Kasukabe's heart. This much I told you already, correct? What was going on with Marie and all the Legionnaires? How'd they actually come to be? Because they didn't seem like shadows to me. Those who reigned as rulers were created from memories and images. They were idols Salmael conjured, for the purpose of emotionally cornering Toshiro Kasukabe. I believe you have all witnessed an entity being born from an unintentional breakdown of cognition before? You mean from Futaba's palace, right? The cognitive form of her mother. In actuality, they were fragments of Salmael's own existence, with the visual appearances of their real-world selves. So all that time, they were treating Toshiro like their plaything, when they were the actual puppets all along, huh? Wait, does that mean the Legionnaires were this way too? Yes, but unlike their rulers, it seems like Salmael used shadows that were drifting in the subconscious sea. And in order to force those shadows to submit to its will, it absorbed them. The power crystals that appeared when the Legionnaires were defeated were likely remnants of this process. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Her case is another extremely rare one. A cognitive presence, a persona, a shadow. It may be best to think of her as a being that shares attributes with all of these. Meaning... Toshiro Kasukabe created Irina when his will and the power within his heart were struggling to be heard. She was the embodiment of Toshiro's feelings of hope, revolution, and resistance. When you describe it like that, she sure does sound a lot like a cognitive being. 
subconsciously, Toshiro entrusted her with his power. The seed of a persona, figuratively speaking. One could say that while in this state, she was a cognitive being with an inner persona. Typically, personas and shadows are two sides of the same coin. And the entity known as Irina carried the light and darkness of Toshiro's heart. So she was born from cognition, but she's also Toshiro's persona. Which would explain why Irina's still herself even after she awakened to her power. Furthermore, even though this area may have been conquered, a portion of it remains connected to people's hearts. A possibility remains that the events that took place here had a subconscious effect on the real Eri Natsuhara's heart. No. <sighs> but, again, this is all speculation on an exceptional circumstance and exclusive to this specific situation. It would be disingenuous of me to go on about theories I cannot substantiate. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Thank you very much, Miss Lavenza. I feel like it's all making a lot more sense to me now. Well, if I was able to be of assistance, then I could not ask for anything more. Now then, this is as far as the train can take you. Please proceed on your own from here, and good luck facing Salmael. Fortunately, despite the change in appearance, the Velvet Room has retained its usual functions. I shall be able to assist you with Persona Fusions and the like whenever necessary. That's a huge help, Miss Lavenza. What would we do without you? Okay, I say we'd better prep for battle before moving out! Sure have a lot of choices. Come back again later. I should write that down. <laughs> 